All right, I think I am quite good to go. Let me double check it. Right, welcome guys. This is We Hard Real 3. And now, once again, I decided to dedicate a playlist entirely for our guy, one and only. This is GB600 and 111. Instead of light blue, he's now playing as blue because someone else has taken the spot of this color. And once again, in terms of the GB600 111, this is an FFA and now we are on Burton Paradise. So let's meet other players as well. On the right side, we have Green Empire. This is HDOQ. And I'm following with the red. So yes, this is Farmer John. Ironic enough, I mean, I mean, so yes, as you know, a communism, a farmer is quite good to go. Maybe good role playing. Anyway, let's proceed with this yellow allies. This is Ovnerd. Ovnerd or Ovnerd, I don't know. And now the color still, ooh, this is very bright. Light blue Soviet player. This is Red Devil 89. And finally, this is purple Soviet. This is Vampire 1234567. So we will call him Vampire from now on. Well, interestingly now, we get to see three Soviet players, two allies and one empire. So once again, things could be quite difficult. I mean, if you can get the momentum, Q can win this game with the Tango superiority. But his opponents are Soviets, and Soviets mean, well, one thing, especially on FFA or long map, I'm mean, big maps, I'm sorry. Uh, it's Tomb Blade, Tomb Blade Frog combo or Tomb Blade and Mix, and nevertheless, Bane of the Tangos, so we will move on. The good thing is, all of our Soviet players have started with their own respective cranes. I like this one a little bit, I mean, look at the SimCity way of building the base. Uh, this reactor could be also used on walls as well. And everybody is quickly going for third and final expansions. The speed goes for the Red Devil. It is already going for the fourth as well. On the meantime, Allies players, uh, that's a terrible power plant, <laughs> I would say, asking for satellite drop here for whopping to building destruction immediately. And Q is very aware and try to seize as much as neutral buildings possible. That's whopping 1500, 1500 of credits. Just for engineers, but finally, okay, he is not, okay, so he is getting his third refiner, so that's nice, and was it a burst drone? Oh no, that's a terror drone. Dude, uh, get yourself some expansions before doing anything. I don't like to be this guy, <laughs> for example. Okay, so nice. Okay, GB600, once again, <laughs> getting lots of infantry that probably he will not use, so let's not pay attention to him a lot. So, we're going to see a very early defensive base coming from the Red Devil, and scouting coming from Vampire. I don't know why this guy tried to scout this guy over here, but now I think we get to see first contact, but it's going to be short-lived. And this, I mean, Vampire just... Uh, claiming here, but is he claiming or not? Anyway, so I don't know what's the purpose of GB600's command over here. I mean, if only he built over here, he could go for third expansion point. But before that, you have this refinery, so that doesn't really necessary. On the meantime, um, but Q is now not doing anything different or significant i mean very nice of him to go for four fourth refinery is being built i mean empire oh, that's a lot of terror drones for such a game uh can you spend i mean that's some unnecessary expenditure you didn't even capture your oil there in another little garage and soviets really love to have the garage as well so uh easy to say i would definitely get that one and also for your crusher crane that's valuable you don't re Ooh, we get to see a very quick tier 3 coming from owner I mean, owner is going to own a Red Devil very quickly. And Red Devil doesn't have... Uh, okay, he has only airfield. This guy is very strict back into gameplay. I mean, getting just uh, some... Getting a handful of refineries and then getting airfield. Uh, we know... Okay, do not lose your collector. You have a crusher crane. What are you doing? That was a very careless... Nevertheless, ooh, okay, so these are fanas. I think if they move over here, they can target this pressure crane as well. Low powers, but uh, in what sense you would go scouting with, oh, <laughs> scouting with Terra Drone, but from the looks of it, this guy doesn't. And 
Well, Ovner doesn't... I mean, Ovner is not playing this game. He just wants to defeat him once and for all. And his first target is a Red Devil. And Red Devil is suffering, actually. The problem is... Uh, tier 3 coming from the Soviets. I mean, Vampire, what are we doing? You definitely not need this. I mean, just, just go for two or three airfields and that will be the game. On the meantime, how about the Tango numbers we have here? Uh, not so much. Tier 2 is not even unlocked as well. So this refinery is not safe. Uh, okay, very nice. So Q is now going for the fifth refinery. That's nice. But now he has extra refinery core. I don't know what he's going to do with it. The... The most reasonable path will be here, but this man is insane and getting lots of terror drones even before he wants to drop it. He still has some terror drones, by the way. Now, Timblades are now patrolling around. Ooh, because this is a very fat army. Uh, this army could actually just steamroll entire bases, but the, here's the thing. A Red Devil is pissed off. Uh, you took his refinery, so he will take your collectors. That's very simple. Uh, satellite drop uh, definitely should be used over here. Come on, that's... That will put your opponent in the low power very quickly, but, well, Prospector kills is not that bad as well. So, Yari Minis, uh, what the Sim City is this? The sentry guns are real. You get yourself some Tesla quills. Anyway, so, this Yari can easily decimate this base before the airfield that produces something. Now, <laughs> from, from the loser, Vampire just overextended, let's say, oh, GB600, come on. I, I mean, we have been with you for two games that I have casted. I'm sure you played more games. Why are you expanding with command hubs? Also, okay, he gets him hospital. Considering that he only gets infantry, so that's nice. Also, why he even bothered himself with placing that this yellow pipeline is facing each other. This guy is going full Sim City. Oh, okay. So, okay, let's forget about the Sim City. Let's get back into war. And Farmer John is going to get the hammer and sickle onto himself. Okay, for weeks. Just sell it off or use cash bounty. Who cares, right? <laughs> so getting a flat cannon. All right. I uh, see. Uh, Red Devil is soon to lose his base, I guess. The only problem is... Okay, there's no problem. I mean, you can't even use the Terran's over here. Uh, Thana cannons are behind the line. Not that bad. But here's the other issue. Uh, the base is completely defenseless. So, oh, we have a Dreadnought already here, so this base can be destroyed simultaneously. They're going to go for base trade, I can easily say that. The other thing is, um, from the debris, I think this was an APOC tank. Come on, also, nah, that's not good. But wait, there's no anti-air, come on, just send your Tomb Blades over here. What are we waiting for? Uh, Spring of Twin Blades, uh, Q is just scouting around to find himself some prey. From the map vision wise, Vampire is going good at ah, Natasha. And there she goes. <laughs> that was unlucky of him. Also, there's nothing on the ground, so that's a bit trouble for himself. Uh, Tomb Blade is now on contact, and this is actually a very nice Athena Cannon, and unfortunately, it's now on the top of it, so it's actually dealing damage or not. Okay. From the looks of it, it's not. The trouble is, uh, this Dreadnought itself is going to destroy this base entirely. And where is the MCB? Okay, it's going for the third refinery, but now he's reducing to one refinery only. So, yeah, surely this base will be probably destroyed. Just sell off your buildings, please. Okay, so it's not going to work. Uh, nevertheless, it doesn't really matter. He will probably deal more damage to our guy before... I wonder how much cash. Okay, it's better not look it out. Now, we access try to deal as much as damage to Vampire, but Vampire is having some bullfrogs. He is quite good to go. Losing Super Reactor, but not, not the biggest damage that you could deal. And nice two level coming for the bullfrog itself. Now, unfortunately, Omnit losing his base. And Red Devil is also losing his base, but Red Devil has something back on his pocket. So it doesn't really matter, but where is this guy's MCV, by the way? That doesn't really matter, he can expand it over here, so that's the best thing he could possibly have it. Now, MCV, <laughs> they're literally going for the base trade, but dude, you don't have any navy, and I don't know if Dreadnought can reach it over here and deal some damage. Doesn't really matter, we will see to it. On the meantime, ooh, okay, so tier 3, the second guy who gets to tier 3 is... Wait. So, what? Well, what 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 happened to GB six hundred, dude? What happened to GB six hundred? 
Oh, I can't believe this. I missed it entirely. Anyway, uh, <laughs> so now some Epoch tanks are now against three Kingonis. Here's the thing. I saw it before. So if V4 is still alive, he could actually lock down these Kingonis and can deal some very nice damage. Satellite drop has been used. Not a very particular use out there. No Tesla Trooper on the site. So Vampire is not doing the best he could possibly do for himself. Now, locking one of these uh, Kingonis, I guess. Uh, okay, V4 seems to be down. But at least you took the refinery, so that's nice. Now, oh, okay. Oh, this April already a little more than a half HP. Okay, here's the thing. You can... Don't do that. There, there is... Okay, there is Engineer. Uh, forcing a move? Dude, why are you... Oh my god, for real. That's very painful to see. Anyway, let's get back to the other th things here. Okay, terror drones. Uh, slowly they will die. Also, is there... A What's that? That was a Shogun. What the damage over there? So, just build some buildings, maybe. And this <laughs> heroic conscript is just filming cocktails, but... It's already healing the damage is being done. Okay, sold off very nice. And okay, one of them already goes down, which is not that bad. But this Tesla quad is doing I mean God's work for real. Okay, so Ovner also <laughs> uh, leaves the game. And well, Red Devil grants himself on a new MCV. That's the reason why I left. Uh, capturing a very nice tier 3 mech, uh, construction yard. That's actually nice. Uh, how did the guy lose this? Like a Shogun battleship that parking next to this Farmer John. Well, John is... Well, from all other players, this guy knows how to expand over here with the... I mean, building a reactor over here or any building, a proxy build radius and getting himself. So Farmer John, amidst this battle between Vampire and Q, can actually have some time to build himself some refineries. Now, on the meantime, Red Devil is licking his wounds and he is parting in good shape. The only trouble is, uh, if you're playing as Soviets, yeah, that's right, get more and more and more refiners. Also, you can now easily look at this beautiful site. <laughs> so you can get, uh, if they do not pay attention, okay, don't go with, I mean, do not let them suspect. Oh, what are you doing? Mm. I think he wants to have a sight of what's going to happen. So realizing that two players are fighting each other and Farmer John is not very active in the game. Oh, what the hell is this? And from the looks of it, yeah, Red Devil, if he... He definitely needs some airfield. Because his production is incredibly limited right now. Oh, okay, boot camp already here. So we get to see some javelins, perhaps? Tesla troopers are now en route to take down these king gunners, but that's not going to happen anytime soon. Any crusher crane? No, there is no crusher crane, unfortunately. Now, unfortunately, good times are soon to end, and... Dude. Why are you using it on? And how did you get the sight of that? Some... Oh, okay, so Navy... Ah, oh, that's... Ooh. Oh, come on. You will definitely need much more than that. Test the search. Good thing it's not friendly fire killing it. I mean, look about the damage. That's just way too low. And on top of that, uh, Q has his own dry dock. But now Vampire is not sending some templates, but that's... So less to be desired, and also satellite drop has been used, scatter is used as well. Uh, but it will take some years for these Timblaze to destroy these Shoguns. If this is going to be tier 3, I wonder if it's going to deal damage. Are you serious? <laughs> you moved into it. Well, okay, three more Stingrays arrived. Just use a, use a press F, press F, come on, that's the time! Come on. Okay, you may also wait the Tengus, maybe. Alright, you used it, but... Well, uh... Oh, that was the last blow. 
Come on, Lokola, you can do it. I'm proud of the Soviet... Oh, friendly fire! <gasps> the guy would rather kill his own units rather than give a reverency to the other opponent units. So that's deny if you play it in a kind of MOBA game. So the guy literally denied his unit. <laughs> anyway, um, Vampire is now eliminated from the game. And... You, what the hell? Is... What? are you doing? Oh, this is going to be a massacre. Uh, it's just going to be too bad. Let's force Spyro over here and probably all of them will die. Oh, that's a nice combination of work. Why are you getting flak troopers? Yikes. So, does he have anything to stop this? No, he doesn't have anything. So this, this guy just has flak troopers. I mean, this guy gets insane amount of flak troopers. I mean, that's so bad, it doesn't... Oh, You just... Come on, attack! What? <laughs> the Tevatron gets the kill! Okay, so Vampire, I think he doesn't have anything left on the map. Okay, he, does he have? He's still on the game, but I don't know how. He must have something. I don't see any purple buildings around. Okay, he has MCV. And... Oh, no, that's terrible. So, well, I think Red Devil had enough time for him. Ooh. Now, that's how to play Soviets. Whether in the mid-game or the late, late game. I mean, this is the way that you have to do it. Now, let's get... Dude, this is not producing anything. Just get yourself a fat amount of... Tomb Blades, and that will be the game. For example, just like here. Now, all of these... Okay, first of all, you will need insane amount of Tengus to hand, uh, handle this kind of a threat, which I think they will all die. Uh, Death March, that's all I can say. Now, Tengus are now on the land, but doesn't really matter. Dreadnought also joins the fray, but I don't know if it's going to be any useful. Now, poor of them, the Tengus are... Wait a second, guys. Okay, I can get back to it. Yes. So, <laughs> I think bringing Dreadnoughts here will do nothing but let them suffer extra more damage. And also, remember that this guy did not get any kind of dry docks. Oh, sell it! No! Uh, how did that Dreadnought die? Did it die to Super Reactor Splash Damage. Uh, probably yes, but now uh, Farmer John is now hosting four Shoguns sitting right next to his base. And well, these are the remnants of his army. Fortunately, they all get to die. Now, uh, oh, Tank Master Surprise, okay. But doesn't really matter, I mean, Soviets can always crawl their bases one way or another. So now this game is between, that's safe to say, between two players, and... Ah, uh, <laughs> dude, what's the point of getting the fourth if you're not producing any with the third? Okay, that's... That's way too much. Also, these are very vulnerable. I mean, the moment that he gets Yaris, you can't really stop them. But Red Devil just getting himself on the next level against the Q, because real Ah, oh, Vampire is now building itself a new base, but dude, uh, do not alert your opponent. That's a point you if you can't kill it. They have a bomb by Ah the guy gets the MCV and the very next moment it just gets destroyed. Okay, there are shoguns, right? Yes, there are shoguns. So there is a cooler. I think there's no ultra torpedo, right? But doesn't really matter. I think this Akula will succeed the job. Very well done. They can now the refinery of the Q. Now Q knowing that, I mean, he, he needs something one way or another anti-air means. But, but there is another problem. Uh, you can't really match against Soviet air because they can just build a lot. 
for example, like this guy. He's, he has five airfields, but not produced with three of them. On the meantime, what does the Empire has? One Mecha Bay. So that's all of your production. And that's the main problem of the playing Empire, friends, because you will always, one way or another, you will need much more Mecha Bay because you will have some surplus money and can't spend your money. Also, all of these Shogun volleys are being... Do you have terror drones? Just please use... Oh, okay, it's not using them. So... Why is... Ah! Ooh, okay, that's... That's odd. You traveled all around here to attack his refinery. Balloon bomb. I mean, he, he, doesn't, he doesn't care and doesn't properly move them. Now, VXs, but in a very terrible way. These VXs can't transform and, well, if not, they will die. The most strategic move that. Red Devil can do actually taking down this dry dock. Now that's the pride of playing with the Soviets, knowing that they own. Ooh. Also, dude, come on. You have allies, MCV. Just get yourself cryocopters if you dare to. I mean, if you are okay to micro them, that's sort of the thing. Vampire is going to be finished by the Red Devil. We will see to it. I mean, in a very professional manner, it just unloads the Tomb Blade rockets, and that's all. Well, <laughs> this is what you get when you can't kill your opponent. He will, one way or another, just deal you the maximum damage he could. I mean, look at it. Oh, okay, he is. Dude, this guy did nothing to you. Why are you attacking him? Just attack HQ. I mean, just attack HQ or Q. Ooh. Ah, Doom Blades are here. I wonder how much cash does he have. Windblade inspection, Wind complete. inspection that's, complete. That's the amount of cash you have when you don't produce units. Ah, two Tengus and just they die. Now, the main problem is uh, with VXs, no, there is no way you can outmaneuver the Soviet army. But now, Doom Blades die for nothing. Do we have any bullfrogs? No, we don't have any bullfrogs. He's getting more crusher cranes. Why? Okay, we have bullfrogs. That's actually good news. So move them back. Dude, on the meantime, you can also do some attacks. Yes, that's right. I forgot if you could take down there, here, and if you take this, this would be a map. Ooh, no! Oh, I can't bear to see it. But now lumbers are way too low. Oh, no. If you take down the deck, if you take down Mecha Bay, okay, Mecha Bay is down. Okay, there's also one more Mecha Bay. That's actually nice. Okay, he had two Mecha Bays. That's okay. But okay, dude, time to go back. Time to go back. Dude, time to oh come on, what are you? Ah, uh, but still, I mean, numbers are good to go. And uh, now you can, dude, come on, just. Click it! Oh, come on, on! Oh, just here! Where are the mix? Ah, that's too much. Let's uh, say you're not very prepared against this, aren't you? On the meantime, unfortunately, uh, Red Devil is also losing everything he had. Also. Ah, what the hell? Anyway, uh, okay, we. VX is ever right, so you know what to do. Just go around, find a suitable target, and destroy it. Just draw the circles. That, that cannot be that hard. Also, okay, you also destroy the seaport. Do you know what does that mean? Uh, you can always get some Akulas and destroy it. <gasps> oh, no. Where are the sea wings? Okay, sea wings are all back. You know what does this mean. Just go and happy hunting these VXs. Happy hunting these elite hit squad of VXs. You know, happy hunting today, I guess. Okay, so he is now licking his wounds, not that bad. And ah, low power, no. How much low power is he? Okay, Death not right that here. bad, but. And why are you getting Crusher Crane on next to your own Crusher Crane? Uh oh. Uh oh. 
do not lose the MCV. Okay, you. I mean, a mounted. Ah, dude, no. <gasps> wow, a trade is going to happen. No, 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 you're attacking the wrong target. Oh my god, dude. <sighs> now that's how you let your advantage go. Now getting more refinery codes. That's nice, but now all of your, your army is now only... Ah. <laughs> I think this is... I think this is the farmer Johnny, and he says, you know what, screw you, I hate you, and there you go. <laughs> oh. Okay, maybe this was Vampire, by the way. Oh, what the hell, why you get three super reactors next to each other? Dude, this is already infected, so just... Ah. So many shoguns, by the way. So still things are quite in terms of no one. <laughs> I mean, each player is now has to suffer. Oh, okay, so refinery is bugged here as well. And unfortunately, Q lost his all of his proxy refiners, so he has to better replace them. And this Akula could actually save some wonders by just making a route all around here, destroying everything on the path. <laughs> All right, so maybe a bad rally point. I am sure. How much cash do we have here? Eight thousand. That's nice. Two thousand. Unfortunate. And well, far majority is suffering. And vampire has four k, so not that bad actually. But he needs a respite. He needs a moment so he can build. Well, definitely, he will definitely need something like that. And very nice of the terror drone infecting their C wing. Unfortunate. Okay, finally he is making a move. And oh, former Johnny is now angry. Okay, he's not angry enough. He's going back. <laughs> so, oh come on, you have to use it well. <laughs> so stealing this made him very angry. Now you're going. I think you are going to lose your final building. Just try to deal as much as damage with your flak troopers, right? Because these flak troopers can actually all oh, the final blow. But well, vampire just ejected from the game. Now another refinery lost from the AAQ, so quite unfortunate for him. This actually can also go over here. Still no lock score coming right up. All we see is some loss of VXs and Tengus. But again, okay, so Rao, now Farmer John is angry. Is he angry enough? We will see. Also, these Shoguns are completely unattended. And whoa, these are very valuable Shoguns. Just like at the camping mission that you have to use Chronosphere on Prince Tetsu's army. Uh, V4. Why? Get your, you need a pocket if you're playing against Empire. So, Sea Wings are going to accompany them. So far so good, the most irritating thing is happening in this game is that no Soviet player is effectively using Crusher Cranes to crush their own collectors, but let them die. And that's a bit annoying. Okay, so Expansion Point is now restored. Uh, this Akula is making a terrible detour. Also, Tank Masters are guarding this place. I mean, see, this collector could actually grab some cash. Is he going to be escorted? We will see. Oh, actually making a run for his life. <laughs> and Balloon Bomb has been used, and Bullfrogs are now taking some damage. Mm. Dude. Uh, that's not how you have to just put the Bullfrogs back. Oh, this B4 could actually do a lot of damage. Well, from the looks of it, VXs are doing... I mean, they are... There are so much VXs, they're actually doing some body damage. Doesn't even care and just go for, for example, the chopper mode and take down the remaining of units. The bullfrogs are dead, but I think he doesn't want to risk it. But... Okay... Fine. 
Uh, where are you going to drop them, by the way? Oh no. Now, that's the moment. Uh oh. Okay, just move the bullfrogs back. That's all you need to do. And move all of your air parks. Okay, that's. Massive sweep coming right up. Where are the VXs? There are no VXs in this game. Okay, but all VXs are dead. <laughs> oh, no, do not lose your bullfrogs! No, do not lose your bullfrogs! Ah, uh, okay, bullfrogs are dead. But MCV is. <gasps> okay, there's a Mecha Bay. That's nice. Uh, this Mecha Bay is. There's no way it's going to take the L. Ah, the combination of the two of the satellites. <laughs> but still, the guy has his own Mecha Bay. The only uh, issue here is that, uh, as you can see, now is the perfect moment to deal more damage. I mean, use your Akula and take down this, and he can't replace it. That's very simple. I think Q will be pissed off over this. Okay, there's Engineer also. And. I don't. Ah. Oh, he's back for more, but. Dude. Oh, okay. He has APOC. Alright. Uh, let him cook. No, no, no. Get him back. Dude, come on. I have put my faith on you. Just take down these elite chop striker reactions. He's not attacking, by the way. Ah, well, ugh. I'm disgusting. Our sea wings are on the way. Oh, okay, he got his MCV. That's nice. He's not pouring some units. Uh, we can easily say there is an alliance or some terms of agreement between Farmer Johnny and Red Devil. Of course, I mean, there is no really need to because Farmer Johnny got pissed off against Q for taking down his <laughs> lovely Flak Trooper army. But well, we have another rising problem. How to deal so much si uh, uh, Sky Wings? We will see to it. Also, how much cash does this guy have? He has money. How? But anyway, he. So, well, <laughs> okay. Good to see. Good to know that he has still mix. But this, this is really lazy. Just move. You have lots of crusher crates. Just move your mix next to them. So there are so many shoguns, but now this is the problem with both of the allies and so uh, empire fabs. Soviets have always can use a crusher, uh, crusher crane, and if the naval threat is addressed, you can always destroy your excess units. Uh, for example, you really don't need shoguns. You don't even don't need your shoguns all here. Just place them strategically around the seam sections of the map, and that should be good to go. Now, refineries are intact, so this is a very good moment for at least, for at least for Red Devil to do some harassment runs. He needs it, definitely. Now, army is reset, so he doesn't have uh, all of these tangles around. Ooh, okay, so we see magnetic super satellite, but instead of going for collector, I would try to find it over here and try to take down units before taking a collector. Because at this, at least at this point of the game, we will probably just click on the shift on the unit, like maybe multiple times, and like expecting to make lots of units. The moment you use it over here, and if he's not suspecting it, uh, instantaneously. Ooh, we forced artillery, so things are getting serious. Wolves are being built. Sputnik, our farmer Johnny wants to. Uh, no. Level 1 doesn't do that. I wonder if we could suck out the ore inside of it. Ah, oh, we will not see it. Also, mm, that's not the best way to expand, I suppose. I mean, these... Okay, these are... Okay, this is quite valuable, but this is very close to doorstep. And again, your Kula is not... Okay, finally, Kula is moving out. That's actually nice. Um, okay, APOC. I'm sold. That's fine. Let's move it over here. Okay, two wave force artery. Okay, that's nice. Force fire on the ground. Force fire on the ground. Force fire on the ground. Okay, he's going to do it, but you really don't. 
Oh, this guy hates him so much. He doesn't even care being infected about the terror drone. He just goes from taking down the refinery. Dude, no, no, no. That's not your target. Well, one APOC for just one refinery. Uh, that's actually still good to go. I mean, not that bad trade, but you really, really don't need to do that. Also, I think that was uh, Suicide Squad drones. Also, very nice of the... Oh, okay, so he is placing sea wings, I guess? No. This Akula is, like, could do wonders for him. For Red Devil, but from the looks of it, he's not going to do it. Also, no dog score replacement coming right up. Dude, you know he has Shogun. Stop expanding or spending your money over here. That's really unnecessary, if you ask me. Also, this, I mean, too bad Farmer Johnny is trying, trying to find a suitable place to expand. Uh, but from the looks of it, he will be only stricken to only two refinery expansion points. All others are quite, like, being used. This is quite nice, but reaching there will be impossible. I wonder what was that. I guess a sea wing, but how, if so, how did he die? Also, this collector should be moved around here. Just chop, chop, do it. Come on. Don't be lazy. Okay, so is it try to spam money by crushing the units so you can get a terror drone ins inside of it and well, one way or another? Oh, okay, finally he gets someone. One way or another, accumulate some cash on it. See, you have. Oh, okay. So finally, you get to sell them as you should have done it long ago. Perfect hiding spot for a collector. Now VXs are going for a hit and run, but is this going to be MCB snipe? I guess it oh no. Now makes them intercepted, but I think MCB will down very soon enough, but uh, I'm sh not sure if it's going to be worth it. Okay, MCB is down, but losing that much of VXs, I don't know. You need those VXs. You definitely need those VXs. If you have so much cash, okay, you don't have much that cash either. Also, interestingly enough, nobody is balloon bomb. Dude, dude, no the mix, no the mix, come on, no! <gasps> you let a star rank me die for just absolutely nothing. What are you, what are you doing? What are you busy with? You're literally trolling the game. I mean, this guy is just getting a loss of an interesting armor of choice. Like, there's only one BX. Still going for two mecha base, that's nice. Uh, insane. You really don't need this army. Alright, he is pulling off all of his units, I guess. Johnny, why are you doing this? He did he he really did nothing to you. Oh, no, our guy is pissed off and says, okay, screw this, you take my MCV, I take your collector. But now, uh, I mean, taking down the refinery is equally better blow. I mean, he can re always... Okay, so, uh, defensive march, okay. Uh, if, only you could, if only you could see here with your Akula, you would be much more surprised. Now VXs are just being placed. Dude, just please don't go over here. It's unnecessary. This is a depleted ore mine. Uh, finally, okay, dealing damage. To these are quite good to go. Let him play with just two refineries. That also works. Just take down this one as well. I mean, you are bothering to take this one, but you're not bothering to take this one. And this is a valuable refiner, by the way. It still has some... Oh, no. Just, you really don't need to do that. Trust me. Okay, Skywing, I, not Skywing, Sea Wing, I'm sorry. Now, here is my other question. Why are you moving all around with your Tomb Blades? You have an Akula here. <laughs> Fight on, comrades! So. Me he's... going down! I repeat, me going down! Uh... So, did he change side, change of heart, or I don't know. Why are you attacking him? So, I think he's busy with here, and he lost everything he had. 
So I think this is the end for the game. Because I really don't believe this farmer journey guy has any chance against this. And he said, <laughs> simple to say, he says, okay, so I'm not going to leave here without taking something from you. I think the guy got, just got bored. But here's the thing, you could also attack the Q as well here. I mean, if you want to have some sense of victory, that's another story. But now you are going to lose your production and that will be game for you. <laughs> Because you have absolutely nothing here to stop these epochs. And see, this is the guy you're allying with, and he's not stopping it. Uh, you got to be kidding me. Did you use magnetic satellite? Okay, so you use this burst drone stuff. And, well, there goes your MCV. There goes your production. And <laughs> he's going back to destroy him. I really want to know what's in this game chat. I, I wish I could see it, but well, he is fire selling. Unfortunately for him, I mean, Red Devil had a terrible execution of every advantage he had. I'm just, I'm just speechless. He had allies MCV, lots of refineries, and a proxy cooler that doesn't really need to do anything. Well, but what's the point of having them if you're not going to use it anyways? And you just really could snipe every collector he had except these three. No, he it's just it's impossible for him to move VXs around and catch you up. But you didn't let that happen. All you need to do is just get equal number of the terror drones and infect these, for example, Shogas. He doesn't have any kind of dog score, let alone you would let him deploy it. But, well, that's the last. And... What? So... They really had an agreement, and Farmer Johnny wins this game! <laughs> I cannot believe this. I really can't believe this, like, this is insane. Also, I want to know what really... Uh, what really happened to GB600? And, <clears throat> well, here's the thing. I don't know, for some reason, uh, GB611 named this replay as... I want to read it. I found toxic players lol. So, I don't know if he's here or any of you guys are here. Here's the thing. As long as you play a game on multiplayer against players, uh, you will always see some toxicity. It's inevitable. And it doesn't really care about the genre of the game. Even, even if Candy Crush has a multiplayer section, um, there will be some dudes that will turn the game into a competitive level. And probably there will be some trash talking, trolling, etc. And yeah, that will be it. That will be also toxicity in a game, a casual game like Candy Crush as well. So I hooked up to the replay once again to see what really happened. What, what kind of misfortune did our GB600 suffer in this game? So bear with me, I will try to find it out. On the meantime, I also dedicated this a playlist just for GB600 and one GB600 111 uh, because his games. Uh, <laughs> at least the good thing is he's always playing FFA on like five or six plays. That's actually nice, a very rare sight to see, and it always harvests some fun. Unfortunately, of course, speaking behalf of him, uh, he's not the shiny. I mean, he's not the best out there. I mean, the moment that he will, for example, discover the other units in the Allies' arsenal, like, for example, Armor Facility, maybe things will be better for him, but as long as he makes incredible amount of, like, infantry, like he always loves to do so, um, I don't think we, for a very long time we get to see him winning some games. So let's see what really happened to our guy. So, what kind of toxic players, or what kind of toxicity did he have to endeavor, I mean, did he have to endure against his, I mean, mayhem of six players out there? Let's see to it. A moment, I mean, I saw the vampire, for example, doing something, and then that would be all. And the best part is, <laughs> as a strategic, 
as a master strategy strategic strategian strategists let's say in this manner uh he gets hospital because why because he always gets infantry and how does infantry benefit from which neutral building um hospital funny thing of all he's actually okay so i want to see this i'm sorry i want to show this this is a replay of the same game by the way i want to see what happened to him uh he is getting himself an engineer to capture the garage i believe He gets the garage. He doesn't even have armor facility yet. And chances are really high this guy needs to have one hour with himself to build an armor facility to get some tanks. So let's see. So bear is going out. So <laughs> he's just... Not even a single production, by the way. It, this guy is actually asking to be get the Tesla pushed, by the way. In sense, most of the high-level Soviet players would easily do. Because no airfield or anything. The conscript. I, is, is he going to lead the game just because of some conscripts? Garrison here by the bumper. Okay, so here is here is what's going to happen. I think at one point he will need some conscripts. Or <laughs> okay, so two epochs for our guy. Uh, I don't want to be rude, but that's a bit much these conscripts I mean they're in a good position but I don't think this garrison can hold out uh, this is beyond of overkill all you need to have some okay I, I got my answer anyway <laughs> So he, he tapped out because of the sight of the Apox coming right to it. So I am sorry, but that's not toxicity. I, one way or another, he has to attack. Anyway, guys, <laughs> no no need to talk anymore. So that was the game. Uh, hopefully you liked it. If so, feel free to leave a comment or a like. That helps me a lot. And also, yes, we are counting from the 90 to 100th subscriber. So subscribing also helps me a lot, motivates me in a manner that you can't imagine. But until then, take care.